In ZWCAD 2011, there's a brand new feature that will definitely change the way we design using CAD. It is called Parametric Design. This feature provides you with three toolbars, Geometric Constraint, Dimension Constraint, and Parametric Manager. Let's first start off using Geometric Constraints. Here, if we simply move this line like so, or perhaps even this endpoint here, like so, you will notice the object becomes broken up. This is because these sides share no internal relationships with its neighboring sides. However, we can prevent the objects from being broken up by using the Auto Constraint option. Select the Constraint settings to configure the Auto Constraint options. Here, we can apply or cancel any kind of constraint, change the order, or give them tolerance angles and distance. After choosing the settings, click Auto Constraint and select the entire object. Voila! All of the geometric constraints have been added to these objects automatically. If you point to any one of them in the constraint bar, it will highlight the related objects for you. We may also right click to hide or remove the constraint bar. Here you can see that there's a button that will hide or remove it conveniently located under the parametric manager. Now when you drag the line again, the whole object moves with it. The object is keeping the original relationship all the while adjusting as you modify the object. Auto constraint is more of a foundation for parametric drafting. To add more specific constraints, we do that manually. For example, we have equal constraint here. With equal constraint, you select two lines that you wish to keep the same length when modifying. We'll select another two lines here. And another two here. Now, when we modify the object, these lines will stay identical. As you can see, the lines move with each other. Another tool we can use is Symmetric Constraints, this button right here. Symmetric Constraints will allow you to select two objects and keep them symmetrical about a single line of symmetry. Right here, we'll click Symmetric Constraints, choose two objects, have a line of symmetry, and now you'll notice when you move one object on one side of the line of symmetry, the other one will move accordingly. The same shape, size, and position carry over on the single line of axis of symmetry. Now let's talk about dimensional constraints. Dimensional constraints is another feature of parametric drafting. Using dimensional constraints, you can constrain the alignment horizontal position, vertical position, angular, radial, and diameter of certain objects. It is easy with ZWCAD 2011 as these dimensions have parameters to indicate them. You can change the dimension values directly when modifying them. This makes it much easier for designers to control their creations. For example, I'll click vertical, I'll click this object here, and here and then I'm able to enter my parameters. A big advantage of dimensional constraint is that you can use defined parameters in an expression to define your current dimensional constraint, like this. Here, D2 will always equal D1, no matter what the values of D1 is. Likewise, I can do the same here and make this value always equal to the next value. Now, if you move some grip points, the whole drawing will move together and they'll keep their size and relation with one another.
Now that the main work has been done, we can add some small constraints to make this design look a tad bit better. So I'm going to take these lines here and make them symmetric around this axis right here. I'm also going to give this corner a fixed constraint so it will be locked at this point as I design like so watch as I edit these drawings the point stays unchanged as well as those lines the final feature is the parametric manager By clicking the FX button, we call out the parameter dialog box. Here it lists all of the parameters used in the dimensional constraints. You can easily edit the name and expression and the change will be instantly presented in the drawing. You can also define your customized parameters by clicking the new button edit its name, value, and then use it to define other parameters like this. Now that all of the parametric constraints have been finished, try and see how easy it is to modify the drawings with all the constraints in place.